This is a, a recent group of paintings that I painted for Medicine Man Gallery. It's part of this show, Desert Time Travels. And I was just thinking about time in the desert, how it um, is really apparent, you know, as opposed to where I live in Montana, but you can see with the geology, uh, the formation of the geology, and also the, uh, the Native American culture down there. It's the, I was really struck by seeing the 100-year-old Hogan next to the house from the 1950s to the 1990s trailer house and that kind of time. Also, saguaros, you know, being so old, almost ancient plants, I think about that. And uh, time, yeah, it's just much more evident down in the desert. So I like the idea of giving the show a title and then kind of having a theme. And every painting in the show, I tried to put some uh, name that had to do with time. Even this one is Rhythms to Shea, as in with Canyon to Shea, but a uh, little play on words there, but rhythm, time, and music even. So it was a little off there, but uh, still time. This painting is called uh, Living in the Land of the Ancients, and I I was just struck by uh, the Navajo people living down in the bottom of Canyon de Shea, and also that the Anasazi were there before them, and their relationship was interesting to me. So the living in the land of the ancients, so that there's this Navajo culture living in this area where the Anasazi were, but it's also, I was also struck by the modern elements, the basketball hoop here, and thinking about that as a parent myself. If you were spending the summers down in the canyon with your kids, you'd have to have something for them to do. So you put up the basketball hoop and say, I gave you something to do, go play basketball. <laughs> and um, and then I also, I like it for scale. I like it for the human element. I um, And the modern human element, because I think our times are just as interesting as any time that's been before. So I like putting what I see today in a lot of my paintings. and. That's a perfect example of that. And then I'm just overall going for a, a, a composition where your eye can move through. And uh, I do like to put a hint of color down below that maybe ties into the blue up here. And I'm always looking for areas where you can put a little spot of color to keep the painting interesting and lively. I like to do these long, narrow formats. They're a little bit unusual format, but I also feel that uh, it's the way we see the landscape. You know, I mean, even when they say the orientation of landscape is long and narrow, so I, it, it is just playing around with format, looking for something unique, original, different, and it's some of these long to narrow, this is a one to three ratio, has kind of become a little bit of a signature of mine. And I've even done longer ones, I think I have one to four and a half ratio, so keep going on. And they're really fun to play with, to see how far you can push it. And here's one without a sky even, and they're almost like a slice of the landscape.